Okay. Let's, let's do this. Okay, here we go. So we are here at 3D Maker Zone, which started 10 years ago, and it, um, it was going to be demolished, and we gave it a new purpose. Harlem has uh, been a 2D printing city in the past, and we wanted to make it into a 3D printing city. So inside here, now the Computational Design Summit is uh, busy, um, but we have a couple of robotic arms, we have all the 3D printing systems under one roof, and we help companies applying it. And around here we have all kinds of startups that are focusing on building something. So the terrain is called MAC, and uh, over here we have a design studio, uh, More Than Layers. Should we, so we walk there? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So, awesome. One of the things uh, that we noticed 10 years ago mm -hmm. is that uh, not all designers have the skills to, for example, program a robotic car. Sure. Yeah. And they have no idea how to apply certain kind of materials, certain kind of uh, design um, tools. So we created a design studio specifically for that. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. That's okay. This is called More Than Layers. Um, because a lot of clients, they, um, they didn't like the layers. Mm -hmm. So we were like, let's make it into a feature. So mm -hmm. they start loving it. So for example, here you have a chair. This is all grasshopper rhino coat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's printed on the side. Like yeah, this. yeah. And then the robotic arm, the tool pot goes like this. And mm -hmm. this, it builds it in four hours. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is made of recycled materials. So 100% uh, circular. Uh, for example, this is uh, made of um, fishing nets, mm -hmm. like yeah. 88% fishing nets yeah, and the great. rest glass fiber. Also conceptually, it's a co coral design exactly. too, so like from yeah. water to water. Yeah. And <laughs> so. the name is Naya, which uh, yeah. is uh, like a sea creature in, yeah. uh, in the Basque language. Yeah. Um, so that's a really popular one. And then we have all kinds of objects, and we use these objects to inspire other designers sure. to start applying this technology. Um, and they can also onboard them to more than layers to start selling their designs. Mm -hmm. But the thing that we do the most is projects. So for example, I know that you, you uh, work for New Balance. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a project for a shop of New Balance to create like a desk that yeah. looks like a shoe. Mm -hmm. And it had that pattern, like the weave mm -hmm. pattern mm -hmm. to copy like the fabric of a shoe. Do you remember where the store was? Which store? Yeah, it was in Germany. But, Germany. Um, okay. Um, yeah, it might be, might yeah, be in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they start here, they get inspired by the kind of materials, the kind of design mm -hmm. tools they have to use, um, and then start designing together with them. Because in those bigger projects, you always have like an external designer, some external mm -hmm. company, so it's always a collaboration. And then we bring in the skills how to get it towards the robotic arm. Sure. And we are as open as possible, so we call it democratization of design. So we share the kind of materials, like with fibers. Uh, this is um, the inside of a refrigerator, hips. Uh, this is uh, hospital waste. So the, the, it's actually very local from the hospital yeah. in, uh, in Harlem. And we can print with it. We can take the object back if it's necessary and print something new with it too. So it's really circular. Um, and we don't have a digital, we don't have a stock. It's only mm -hmm. digital. So we only produce by order. So in that sense, we are also as circular as possible and we produce as locally to the project as possible. I see. So here we produce a 3D maker zone, but we, um, if uh, I'm based in Spain, so if I want to print something in Spain, I have a local partner there. That's great. So that's the, that's one of the layers. Mm -hmm. And then on the back of the terrain, so this is 3D maker zone, which is like, an industrial field lab for the Dutch industry. Mm -hmm. So we help a lot of Dutch companies to apply uh, 3D printing, but also IoT, blockchain, so Industry 4.0 technology. Great. And then on the back of the terrain, uh, it's more focused on the building industry. Mm -hmm. So historically, it started here, then it went more towards the back of the terrain. Mm -hmm. So the things that we learned for the manufacturing industry, uh, like digitalization, digital production, mm -hmm. is something that you can copy as a concept to the building industry. Uh, and that's what we are doing here. So now it starts to become more concrete. Uh, a modular oh, nice. bridge, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have on the back of the terrain a startup called Neolithic, which uh, has a concrete printer. Yeah. But it's the same toolbots, it's the same uh, grasshopper rhino sure. combination, it's just uh, little bit different application 
and then for example you have those stairs um, in the back there's uh, some waiting for transport and those stairs you yes. just define the slope yep so they have a cal they have a um, they can just define the slope and it calculates the g-code automatically yep yeah so for okay. the building industry that's like a radical improvement sure yeah. so what happens now is like they tweak it it mm -hmm. gets produced within two days mm -hmm. and then it's waiting eight weeks for transport because they are still working on a in a classical way yes um, but the building industry is changing and yes. it's becoming more rapid that's this been a story for 20 years, my friend, you yeah, know, like know, know. <laughs> architecture trying to catch up with, you know, digital technologies. Exactly. Yes. So, for example, those, those elements are um, yeah. uh, potholes. Yeah. Same story. Sure. Like we can produce eight of them um, in a day, mm. specifically oh, wow. to order. Mm -hmm. So the whole process of opening the street and measuring it and that all becomes different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go through here. What's out? This is a different entity. Mm -hmm. This is Bau Lab, which means building lab. Mm -hmm. So this is an innovation lab specifically to apply innovations in the building sector. Uh, the whole building itself is circular. So it used to be somewhere else in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Then it got disassembled and just yeah. as a use case, see yeah. see what things you will, um, what things you have to do different mm -hmm. if you start to rebuild something. Like you have to ask again for permits. Sure. You have to test the whole metal structure again. So those kind of things are super inefficient mm -hmm. the first time you do it. But to learn how to build circular, it's a very good use case. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we donate parts of the building to other companies. So this, for example, is um, pretty plastics, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. makes recycled tiles out of PVC. Yeah. Um, so this was uh, one of the first walls, but now they, they do whole buildings with this. And then in, inside here is for us the next step, which is uh, another setup. Um, but here we have a combination of printing and milling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the idea here is that we have different stations. So this is the first part. Yeah. Um, but it's going to do printing, milling, assembling, painting and even maybe the spraying that we saw in the presentation today. Mm -hmm. um, we just create like a 24 hour production system that can do multiple steps. Mm -hmm. That's what we are doing here. So the, uh, is the, you know, the part moves from station to station, is that automated or so we it's like a human assisted? So it is going to be automated. They can yeah. do it both on the same plate yes. here. Um, and you can uh, you can unlock it in the next yes. stage and put it on the next step. Yeah. Um, right now, a lot is still done by hand. Sure. The true yeah. Story. Yeah, yeah. A lot with additive manufacturing is not fully standardized, mm -hmm. but it's getting there more and more. Like mm -hmm. there's two big parties, Seed and Caracol, who mm -hmm. are selling most of the machines now. So the whole uh, industry is getting more standardized, which helps also for quality sure. output. Yeah. And that's a good And then around here are other kinds of startups and it really it is really very different. Like mm -hmm. some are focused on the building industry, others are focused on making props for mm -hmm. uh, Netflix shows. Yeah. Like it has all, all to do with making something digital and then physical. Yeah, this is amazing. It's it's much bigger than, than I than you saw it. before. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do the drinks over uh, here yeah. so people will oh, okay. see there we uh, go. The nice staircase here too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, so now we are walking towards Neolithic, yeah. uh, which is focused on concrete printing. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And in the corner there is uh, another friend of mine who is making recycled um, sheet plates. Yeah, yeah. So they, uh, we try to integrate them also with the more than mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. And this is Neolithic, so it is almost the same as the robotic arms inside. The only difference is that you have like a pump system for um, hmm. for the powder and it's mixed. Yep. And then it goes through the tube towards a very simple head. Yep. And then it builds this layer by layer, I would say in maybe five, ten minutes. Per layer. No. Totally. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. That that came a long way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that came a long way. So you yes. are unlocking a lot of new use cases if yeah. you can produce something that fast. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the initial problem, very early problem with concrete was, of course, you know, it was like start sagging, right? Yeah. Again, like there's so much that has been done in that too. It looks yeah. so clean. Yeah. There's a lot of material development and a, yeah. lot, of, um, a lot of universities invested a lot sure. of time yeah. in it. So yeah. it's very yeah. um, Absolutely. viable technology now. Yeah. And this is just, um, this is um, also a building company that is a co-owner of it. So they already use it. Within yeah, the I was going to ask about that. So this is this is a model in the on this site in which a company can come. Yeah. And uh, do they lease the space, rent the space? No, so Neolithic is an entity and you can, uh, you can rent machine hours. Yeah, from, yeah. from Neolithic. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm asking is what Neolithic is doing with the site, because this, who owns the site? Oh, so they are just renting uh, this, space. This, this space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my question. Um, yeah. And um, the middle two buildings is, yeah. is owned, and everything around is rented. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By who's the like the what? So, is, what is the central so owner? So like you have. Um, yeah. So for example. The middle terrain yeah. here, the big um, building, yes. is Hermann okay. and uh, Jeroen. Okay. And then they are also co-owners in More Than Layers. So okay. I am the founder of More Than Layers. Okay. And then yeah. Neolithic is run by Chris. Mm -hmm. So it became like an incubator. Yes, yes. And then the rest of the terrain is uh, Mac, yeah. uh, which is built in yes. Dutch. And they are just renting out spaces. I so got they it. don't they just have an agenda that it has to be yeah. something with that. It's very similar to the setup in like New Lab, which exactly. is in Brooklyn Navy yeah. Art yeah. in New York. And then in Istanbul there is actually Atelier. Okay. Atelier. So yeah, it's this this model has been working so nice yeah, for this so kind of like, you know, to companies. be honest, when yeah. we started we took some inspiration from New Lab. New Lab, um, yeah, yeah, but absolutely. Their, their business model is very commercially focused yeah we are also a commercial entity but we are also backed by dutch government yes so in that sense yeah. um, we are able to to provide for the whole region yes. like knowledge sure. and help them you finding use cases yeah in a 100 percent funded way That's so great. companies yeah. can come to us like i want to try something with yeah. the manufacturing yeah. and we can help them financially to start that's great so that yeah. really helps with innovation sure yeah, yeah. I think that's also for the Brooklyn Navy Yard as a to like the yep. total entity. I remember New, New York municipality investing. I think, if I'm not wrong, somewhere between ninety to one hundred and eighty million dollars yeah. to convert the whole. Not only New Lab because New Lab is only one entity yeah. in Brooklyn Navy yeah. Yard, right? So they changed all that Navy Yard. I think I was more more than fifteen years ago now, yeah. like ten plus years ago. But again, yeah, like long term, I think the impact is crazy. And you guys getting like governmental fund here is, yeah, it's super yeah, nice. Yeah, so super since cool. this year, uh, they uh, were allowed to uh, buy it from the yeah. local municipality. Yeah. Uh, that's also why the mayor came. Like he yeah, doesn't yeah, understand yeah, yeah, what, right? yeah. what it is about exactly. Yeah, that's but good. he knows that he wants to support us yeah. to start growing this part. Because I don't know if you have been in Harlem yesterday. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Today. Yeah, I walked. Yeah. I, I walked so around, it's yeah. very focused on culture, not so much on technology yes. and jobs. Yes. So most people go that. to Amsterdam to work. Sure. Yeah. Um, but they want to increase also the job amount here. Yeah. So yeah. this is one of the spaces that uh, wants to try yeah. to do that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that, was a, that was a good tour, right? Yeah, no, yeah. this is amazing. The last question, what are these things? These are kind of like... Oh, so... They are repurposing all kinds oh, of old is, things. So like they from make boats, new, I think. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. So they make new furniture out oh, of it. This is, yeah, this is crazy. This is also another sort of value. Yeah, uh, Michael, thank you so much, no man. Problem. This was like totally no unplanned, but I appreciate it so much. Yeah. Thank you.